hello obviously i'm not in france i'm at home but i wanted to give you a little bit of a recap just so you can hear where we ate at where we went when we were in france and then you can keep some recommendations for yourself so we left london at 5 a.m 5 45 so it was insanely early We got on a train and we had a few stops along the way, but I was a little bit nervous about traveling by train in a foreign country because everything was obviously in French and I was worried that if we got lost, we wouldn't know where to go, but we ended up figuring it out just fine and we made it to Albertville. So the reason why we went to Albertville is my aunt and uncle and cousins were living there for a year to learn French because they are missionaries and the country that they are missionaries to also speaks French. So they picked us up from the train station and then we got a little treat and it just kind of walked around Albertville. It's an adorable French countryside town. Exactly what you're expecting is what Albertville is. It's absolutely stunning. So they took us on a little hike, a little walk. Then we climbed up the mountain and we got to see the view of the whole city. It was absolutely stunning. And we walked through some villages, an old church, things like that. Then we came back to their apartment that evening and they gave us a traditional French dinner. It's potatoes. And then they have this raclette cheese is what it's called. They melt the raclette cheese, put it on the potato, and then they use deli meat as their protein, I guess. So that was an interesting meal because Americans wouldn't really put those things together. France is known for their cheese, so we had so much cheese, but it was pretty good. Then the next day we woke up early and we wanted to go to a neighboring town where there was a beautiful little hike slash walk. So we grabbed some sandwiches from a local shop. The sandwiches were literally just a baguette, butter and cheese and deli meat. The butter threw me off, but it was good. <laughs> I liked it. Then we drove up this mountain and we went on this little hike, walk thing. It was absolutely stunning, like what you would picture France to look like. It was like I was in the Sound of Music movie. It was just so beautiful. So we walked around there and it took a while because we had two little ones with us, but we made it through. And then on our way back, we walked through the little town. It's called Beaufort. I may be pronouncing that wrong, but that's what it was called. And there's like a little cheese museum there about how cheese was made. So we went to that and that was a fun time. Say hello. Hi. Oh, are you shy now? Whoa. Someone keeps blocking my way. I can't feel farther away. Wait on a moment to say that I want you. You know that I want you. Oh. And we went to another little bakery, got some baked goods. And then for dinner that night, we had another potato based meal. 
No. Bite. Bite. Well, bet you see you, Mommy. <laughs> Pretty much France's meals are mainly surrounding carbs and our meals are normally surrounding meat as Americans, so that was interesting. But we had another potato casserole thing for dinner. And then the next day, my aunt and uncle had some of their friends babysit the two little cousins. And they wanted to take us to a neighboring town called Ansi. And Ansi was probably one of my favorite parts about this trip. So we went to Ansi. It is basically surrounding this huge lake and it was absolutely stunning. So we walked around the city and then we got lunch at this little cafe that was really high up in Ansi and we could see little parasellers jumping off the mountain next to us. It was really high up and we ended up eating the same raclette dish as we did the first night because they didn't have what we really wanted, and so we had that again. Then we came down to the city again, walked around. It was so beautiful. They had rivers streaming through the city, kind of like what you think of when you think of Italy, but it was the same thing. We got gelato down there, and then we decided we wanted to do like a little boat tour. So they had all these boats that you could rent. Yeah. <laughs> Oh wow! I think when you stopped, actually, <laughs> then it got a little rough. And they're like a pedal boat, so you had to use your feet to pedal like a bike <laughs> to go out onto the water. So we did that, and that was honestly a blast. We were just sitting there thinking, how is this possible? Like, <laughs> we are in the middle of France on this pedal boat on a lake. Like, what are the odds of this? It's kind of crazy. And then we drove back home to their apartment and just had dinner with the family and then Alec and I left early the next morning. So it was another early morning. Our train was leaving at 7.15. We got on that and again, I was worried about navigating the French train system, but I ended up figuring it out. And we got to Paris at about noon and me and Alec just needed something familiar. We just needed some sort of meat even if it was fake so we went to mcdonald's and we got some mcdonald's and we had about four hours to kill until our airbnb was available they wouldn't let us check in early so we sat at this coffee shop watched hannah montana and then we finally got to our airbnb checked out put our bags there and then we decided we were gonna go see the eiffel tower because Obviously, you gotta do that. So, we saw her. She was beautiful. Then we went to this really good French restaurant. I don't even know to describe the food as, but we got bruschetta. And then Alec got pizza and I got pasta. And it was amazing. And after that, we went back to the Eiffel Tower because it was just a little walk away. Because at nighttime, they do this sparkling show thing. But it's right at a certain time. So it's at 10 p.m. Uh, is when this show happens. And it only lasts for five minutes. So you have to be there at the time that's gonna happen. So we were there and we saw it and it was beautiful. And it was so much fun to be a part of that. So Alec and I went back to the airbnb and we woke up the next morning kind of late because we needed to recuperate <laughs> so we got like a weird breakfast lunch thing at this little cafe because we had a tour of the eiffel tower that we were going on so we just got pastries alec got a sandwich 
And then we went on our tour where they take you up the legs of the Eiffel Tower. You can either climb the stairs or do the elevator, but we paid extra to do the elevator because that would just be a lot of climbing. And then we made it to the first story. You can pay to go higher, but we just wanted to do the first story. And it was amazing just to be up there and see everything. It was kind of unreal, honestly. <laughs> Our macaroons on top of the Eiffel Tower. Well, like halfway. Halfway up. Very good. So after the tour, we had tickets to do the hop on hop off bus tour. We did the same one in London. So we wanted to do it in France because we really liked it. So we went on that and toured the countryside a little bit. We saw several really cool palaces, but the only problem is this hop on hop off bus tour was not as significant to us. I guess because we don't know French culture as much as we know British culture. So it's just kind of, it was cool to see, but we didn't really know the significance of the buildings that we we're seeing. love bridge that people always were posting about that have the little locks on it but they actually don't let you put locks on it anymore because the bridge was starting to sink so we could not do any locks or anything but it's still cool to see the remainder of the locks after the love bridge we got some dinner at just a random little cafe that we found I loved the cafes there because they all are exactly what you picture them to be. There's tables outside with chairs facing the street and it's like the French little cafe that you expected or see in movies is kind of cool. And then we kind of retreated for the night. The next day we got crepes at this really good crepe place so that was fun. And then we went to Notre Dame so it was actually closed because they had a fire a few years ago, if you don't remember, so we just got to see the outside of it, but that was okay. Then we went to the Arc de Triomphe, so that is this arch that is really significant. We didn't climb up it, but you can, and there is a street that it's on that's a big shopping street, so we just kind of wanted to walk around there and see things that were familiar to us that were fun. And then we had an appointment to tour the Louvre Museum. That's the giant triangle diamond that is a glass. So we wanted to get food before that. So we got some food at another little cafe that they all look the same. <laughs> they have the chairs and the tables outside. So we did that and then we made it to our tour and we honestly just wanted to see the Mona Lisa, but we were interested in seeing other stuff, but the the museum was about to close so we kind of just had to beeline for the Mona Lisa and not really get to see a lot that was there. That's okay though. i 
into the place I spot you from a race My heart, it started racing The crowd across the way Flowers on your face And then I'm from the 80s Someone keeps blocking my way I can't feel farther away Wait on a moment to say Since this is our last day in Paris, we kind of wanted to just get some rest. <laughs> so we ate dinner at a restaurant that was right next to our Airbnb so that we could then go to the Airbnb after. And that was really our trip. The next day we had to go on another train to get to the airport because it's not inside the city. And we were able to navigate that. Apparently, when we arrived at the airport, they were asking us for a specific ticket that we were never given or I maybe we missed it. We just didn't know that we needed a certain ticket. We had like our train tickets, but I guess there's a different one that you needed. So they ended up charging us because we didn't have the ticket, but it was a really confusing process. Look into that if you are doing that travel plan, but we made it to the airport. And our flight was obviously delayed because all flights are pretty much delayed at this point. And we ended up flying home. We made it back safely and I highly recommend. It was an amazing trip. So that is my France vlog. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel and let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me. Because I love to do those for you. And I will see you when I see you next. Bye guys.